Right, I'm going to show you today what happens when you put a potential difference across this device here. This device is called a resistor and they're designed to use up some energy in a circuit and turn it into heat. I've got an ammeter here which is telling us how much current's flowing and I'll be changing the potential difference on this power pack. So, when the potential difference is zero, the current flowing is zero. Now when I turn it on, and I've got it set to two volts, no, nope, that's going the wrong direction, I'm going to quickly swap that. There we go, we're at two volts. And to voltage of two volts, we are at 0.15 amps. Now I'm going to increase the potential difference to four volts, we are at 0.31. So that's increased by about 0.15 or something. Turn it up to 6 volts, and we're there, we're on 0.47. So it's increased by roughly the same amount again, something like 0.15. Increase it again, we're now on 9 volts, and on 9 volts it's gone to 0.72. So it's a slightly bigger increase, but we went from 6 to 9 that time. And lastly, we're going to go to 12 volts, we're on 0.97. Now I'm going to quickly turn that down to zero again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the current round. I'm going to put the potential difference across it in the opposite direction. So I'm just going to swap these cables. I'm going to start again from down at two. There we are, we're on zero. And I'm going to go to two. But because it's going in the opposite direction, I'm going to call it minus two. The potential difference is now minus two. And the current flowing, 0.16 minus 0.16, just showing the opposite direction. Increase it to 4 volts in the opposite direction, we get 0.33. Increase to 6 volts in the opposite direction, we're on minus 0.48. Take it up one more time, we're on 9 volts, and we're going to minus... 0.73. One last one, 12 volts in the opposite direction, and we're actually on exactly minus 1.00. And I'm turning it down again, down to nothing, and off. This shows a resistor. You can see that in the forwards direction, as you increase the potential difference, you can see that the current increases and the line just goes up and up and up in a straight line. And that's in the forwards direction, but exactly the same thing happens. If you increase the potential difference in the backwards direction, you get current flowing in the opposite direction. And that is again, also a dead straight line. So you've got a constant resistance at all points, really. This is showing it increases in the same amounts in each direction. Hello, I'm going to show you what happens when you put a potential difference through a bulb. We're going to record the potential difference, and we're going to record the current, and we're going to see what happens. Now at the moment it's not turned on, you've got nothing here, you've got no current flowing, and I'm just turning it on there, and that is at 2 volts. The potential difference is now 2 volts, and hopefully I get that to work. There we go, that's working. We're about 0.5 volts there. I'm sorry, I mean 0.5 amps. We're at 2 volts and 0.5 amps. Now if I turn that up slightly, you can just about see the bulb starting to glow, but we're on 4 volts and we've got about 0.82. The current is 0.82, roughly. I'm increasing the potential difference again, and it's getting a little bit brighter and we're on 1.06. I'm going to turn it up to brighter still, turn up the potential difference again. We're now on 9 volts. 9 volts is giving us 1.43. So as we're increasing the potential difference, more current is flowing. And there we're up to 12 volts. Nice and bright, and we've got 1.66. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just change the direction of the current. So I am going to unplug these wires over here. I'm just going to the power pack. I'm turning it off. 
I'm turning the wires round. And that not quite. There we go. I am back down to two volts. But see how we've got a negative version here. I'm actually pushing the current through in a different direction. So although it's 2 volts, I'm going to call that minus 2. And when the potential difference is at minus 2, which just means the opposite direction, the current flowing is minus 0.52. So it's very similar to what it was the first time, except in the opposite direction. Now I've turned this up to 4, but I'm calling it minus 4. And at minus 4 volts, the current is minus 0.88. Now... If I turn it up again, I'm going up to 6 volts, but we're calling it minus 6 volts because it's opposite direction, and we're now at minus 1.09. Up again, we're now at minus 9 volts, we're at minus 1.40. And I turn this up one last time, I'll increase the potential difference as much as I possibly can. The potential difference is now at minus 12 volts, and the current is minus 1.60. 1.69. I know they all vary a little bit. Now, I'm going to turn this off. This is the graph for a lamp. Now, what it's showing is that uh, in the forward direction, when the electricity is running in the first direction, as you increase the potential difference, you, you turn the voltage up in this direction, and at first, the current increases quite quickly. It's got quite a low resistance and increases quite quickly. Now, that is when it's cold. However, as you increase the potential difference more and more and more, more current does flow, more current does flow, but it, it gets hotter and hotter, and gradually it stops increasing so much. Although it does increase, it doesn't increase so quickly, so the line seems to level off. Now, that is because it's very, very hot. The reason it's hot is there's so many electrons flowing, the current is so big, it's so big, 1.5, quite a big current, and that causes all lots and lots of electrons to collide with the ions in the metal. Now, roughly the same thing happens in the other direction, really. As you increase the potential difference in the opposite direction, the current increases. As you increase it more and more and more, yes, the current, the current does increase, the current still increases, but not as much. It doesn't, doesn't continue to increase to such a great extent. And that is because when it's cold, there's a very low resistance, but when it's hot, the resistance is much more. Again, just because the electrons are flowing and there's more and more resistance, there's the, the, the electrons just collide with each other and they collide with the ions of the metal. And in this area here, the resistance becomes higher and higher and higher. I'm going to show you one more component, and the component is this one here. It's called a diode. Now diodes have a particular job to do in an electrical circuit, which I will show you in a moment. Uh, but we're going to do the main thing, which is putting a voltage through it, changing the potential difference, and seeing what happens with the current. Uh, so the first thing is, let's try it with zero. Sorry, we're on zero, let's turn it up to two. Okay, just two volts, we've suddenly gone up to 36 3.6-ish, which is a big current. That is, in fact, quite a big current. I think I might cause some damage if I take it up much further. OK, I'm going to take it up a little bit further. Let's just see what happens at 4 volts. Uh, so at 2 volts, we've got an awful lot of current. And off we go. We're on 8 there, 8-ish. And I can feel... Oh, it's smoking. I've taken it too far there. Whoops-a-daisy. Never mind. But what we saw there was... 2 volts, we've got awfully good current. 4 volts, we've got to about 8, which is extremely big. Uh, so in one direction, you get a big current flowing until it gets destroyed. Now then, let's try it the other way round. I'm going to put voltage through in the opposite direction. And let's see how this goes. 
Uh, I'm going down to two volts, so this bit is really minus two because it's going in the opposite direction. Minus two volts. Nothing. Okay, let's turn it up to four. Nothing. Nothing at all. Six volts. There's nothing. Nothing is happening at all. Now you might be thinking, that is because I have just destroyed it and I've caused it to smoke and burn. Uh, that's not true. This is, what, this is the job of a diode. A diode lets electricity flow in one direction. In the first direction, we've got a huge amount of electricity flowing very, very easily. In the opposite direction, nothing happens. It will not any hour. It takes up to 12, 9, 12, nothing. That does not let anything flow at all. Okay, and I will stop there. Now let's look at the results of a diode. As you know, diodes are around us all the time, They're little devices uh, in electronic circuits, which we might not see, but they are around us all the time. They've got a symbol like that, and that's the graph. Now these are the results that were collected, and this is what it looks like. At first, when you increase the potential difference in the forwards direction, the current just shoots up straight away, just zooms straight up. In the forwards direction, current increases very rapidly, but, but that's because the resistance is so low, it lets lots and lots of current flow. And indeed, beyond about 4 volts, you can destroy the diode very, very easily. Very different in the opposite direction. In the backwards direction, when you increase the potential difference, it goes that way, that way, that way, uh, and there's no current flowing. There's nothing. There's nothing at all. That's just because the uh, resistance is so high. So you can, you can easily spot the diode's graph because it's different in both directions. Now, if we look, look at all three there together, you can see, firstly, we've got the resistor, and then we've got the filament lamp, which is just the standard lamp that people used to use in the houses all the time. Not so much now. And you can see, you can recognise a resistor, straight line. You can recognise a bulb because it flattens off at either side, and you can recognise a diode because it's different in the two directions, forwards backwards, totally different. You might just get caught out if it showed you something like these. Sometimes you might just see a graph which is just shows one direction. This is just showing the forwards direction and the filament lamp in the forwards direction and the diode in the forwards direction. But, but they are just showing the same thing. Make sure you can recognize all of those three. Okay, and I will stop there.